So in the previous video, we started uh, working on our angled soap dispenser. Uh, we left off right here, uh, putting that plane for this upper platform here. I'm going to put a sketch down now on my side right here, and we're going to start building that angled portion. Uh, I'm going to start with a 0.75 inch line up. I'm going to grab my line tool again. I'm going to go a quarter of an inch over, just a little bit wider to support that weight now of that previous uh, piece that we're looking at. Uh, and the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to stand this plane right here. I'm going to grab my line. I'm going to go up 1.875. I'm going to stick to that same back of 0.125. And I'm going to go up two inches to keep that incline. Now I can simply connect to the top here. Um, the next thing I can do is uh, also grab my line tool. I'm going to uh, come up here. I believe I did about 0.6 here. And then I can connect there. Now I'm going to use my dimension tool to kind of lock my uh, sketch down. So I'm going to go from here to here. Because again, length of the bottom, I'm going to go 6.75. So we can see that elongate out now. I'm also going to dimension my distance between these right here. Oh, escape my dimension. I'm going to go from this point. I'm going to dimension from here to here. I'm going to make that uh, 0.125 to stick with that same thickness. And obviously, I want to delete off that 0 0.6 dimension. I should not have done that. I should have done it as a free sketch. So this way, I can guarantee it there. So what we can see now is we have that sketch completed. And again, I did this based off the bottle. And I'm going to extrude that the same 5 and a half inches symmetrically. And I chose to do it, I think, on the wrong plane. So it's not going to be symmetric. It's going to be uh, in the other direction as an add. So there we go. Still saved it. So we can see that uh, right here. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to look at building some walls. Actually, that's down on the side here. I went up one inch from here. And from here, I went over on that line, again, that 0.125 inches. I'm just going to make it so I'm, and then I'm going to extrude this by five and a half inches. And again, I'm gonna do this as in addition to that, as we can see it there. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build some walls on the side. I'm going to go through that same process. I'm going to go up 0.125 here. Escape. I'm going to go up 0.215 from the back. I'm going to connect my lines on the top. Connect it on the bottom here. And I'm going to extrude that as an addition going the other way. That again, that 0.125. I'm going to come around to the opposite side and I'm going to do that same exact thing. I'm going to grab that line tool, go up 0.125, go to the back here, go up 0.125. I'm going to connect those lines and then extrude that 0.125 again. 0.125. Now we have it taking 